Proud sons and daughters of Skyrim, welcome back to Wildlander. We are heading over to Ustenglav to go and clear it out because apparently the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller is there and that is a primary quest that I probably ought to start doing at some point. You know, the main quest for the game, even though there's a ton of stuff that I haven't even touched yet for side quests and such. So yeah, let's get on that. Oh, Nernroot. Well, I do break for Nernroot. What can I say? I, that's that's 20. That's my last one. Holy crap. I'm finally there. What do these do anyway? Oh, I can't loot that one. Crap. Oh, well. Okay, let's hop on the horse. You back there slowly trying to attack me, Horker? Hey, now. Look, no one had to get hurt, but uh, you got a death Bye. wish. Well, okay. Goldier just wrecked that guy. All right. That wasn't me. I was leveling one-handers, so I wasn't doing very much damage there, but uh, Goldier was just like, nah. Nah, bro. You don't hit Ilya. All right. Let's head over. There's a lighthouse. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be a bit of a ride, so I'll probably see you once we are closer. Unless, of course, I see something interesting along the way, which, uh, hey, Nernroot. And there's a cave here. Did I go in this cave? What is here? No, apparently not. Brine water. Nope, not that. Uh, grotto. Hey, you know what? Um, N is the command all followers button, so I can tell all my companions to wait. Or follow. Or do a formation. Cool. I have to remember that so I can make them wait properly at certain points whenever I am going through, like, mazes of traps and such so they don't get owned over and over again. Oh, Horkers. Horker Cave. Well, that's well. Do you guys have, like, a bunch of animal fat on you? Scythered. Tusks. Yeah, lots of animal fat. Yeah, we can harvest them too. Butcher them too. Lots of animal fat, yeah. That's valuable stuff. Just go and fight these guys early on, make a bunch of money from animal fat. Because they're like everywhere up here in the north, right? Viable early game strategy. Gold here, I was leveling my skills. You don't have to be all, let me show you how it's done about this, you know? Oh, hey. That's definitely, certainly not a secret entrance room or anything. Maybe an exit that we come out of later on. That's got to be a secret, though. What else is here? Hmm, can I not get up here? On top? I mean, I bet with enough ingenuity I probably could. Yeah, get up there. You're almost there. Oh, we got it. I knew I could do it. You just gotta believe in yourself and abuse some weird mechanics of Skyrim. Was there a point to getting up here, though, is the real question. And I think the answer is no. There was not. So is there a switch around here somewhere that I'm missing? Or is this for a, a quest later on, maybe? Might be for a future quest. Because I'm not seeing anything else here. Alright, we'll leave it for now. I'm not going to spend eternity on this place. We got stuff to do. Ustenglav awaits. There, oh, there is a um, chest here that has not much in it, but okay. Get another iron dagger for my collection of a million iron daggers that I can use to... Yeah, sure, why not? Is that a cave too? It is, isn't it? 
Is that not a cave? That is a cave. Keep me dry, Frost. By getting wet yourself. Yeah, it's totally... Well, it's not a cave. It's like a... City sewers. Oh, okay. I wanted to just harvest the stuff there, but we went into it immediately. Like, right away. Oh, we're actually underwater now. And now we're going to be freezing. That's great. Fantastic. At least there's a fire here, I guess. Come, my brethren. Huddle by the fire. Worm with me. Yeah, we lost all of our stamina because we got so cold. Okay, just about there. And... There we go. Dry and warm. This is a sewer system. I'm going to probably end up getting inside the water again and just end up getting cold again. It's going to be really unfortunate, but it is what it is. So this would be, um... Sawtooth sewers, yeah. Yeah, even more cold water down there. This is where I came from, right? Yeah, that was the entrance. Dwemer piping going through here, too. Alright, well. I guess if we're getting wet, might as well just go for it. Wait, that's, that's back outside. We don't want to go that way. I want to go... Is this where I came in? I thought it was the other way around, but maybe not. Or does that just go to Skyrim 2? Well, there's a way to go over here. Oh boy, this is going to be confusing, isn't it? At least we're warm in here. The water is not quite so cold. Astounding bear attacks. Okay, I'm not going to read that one right now. That is empty. Was I here before? Hello? Hello, friend. Have a gold. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Divines bless your kind heart. Anything down here? Please, game, let me up here. There we go. Been playing a game called, um... Oh god, I forget the name now. The Fall of Avalon. Avalon, not Avalon. Or Babylon, but Avalon. It is a Arthurian-based type of game. Kind of combines, like, Dark Souls-ish. Um, oh my goodness. Mr. Rat. What is going on here? Must have not gone through here yet, because that was there. But it, it's pretty cool. I was going to say it's pretty cool. Canal works, huh? Are these all added by mods, by the way? Is someone there? Uh oh. Like how they're always like, is that it? As you just utterly wreck them. And they die a second later. What was that? What the hell's going on down here? Namira cultist? The heck did I just walk in on? Ash pile? What is going on here? Not again. That's how a true Nord fights. What is all this? What have I stumbled upon? Wasn't there one more, or did they get turned to ash by Ilya? What the hell? There he is. What 
What is all this? What are you doing here? Sorry, I needed a drink really badly. My throat is like really sore right now for some reason. Everyone's coughing too, which doesn't help, guys. It doesn't help. Okay, well this is insane. I'm sure this is part of some quest, but I don't know what for, and I just stumbled upon it, so... Hello? Fire is not a toy. Okay. May you walk on warm sands. I believe you. I guess he's upset about my, uh, fire-enchanted weapon. But I kind of disagree. I think that fire is, like, the best kind of toy. Good job. Nice shot. Whoa! Be cleansed, vampire. Man, you got wrecked. Recharging. Okay. Vampire cult? I'm down with it. Catacombs, okay. Wasn't I in the catacombs once already to clear some vampires out? This must be a secondary area. What was that? Ha, found be cleansed, foul skeleton. You're no match for my roleplay. I really like the one-hand style, honestly. It feels a lot safer. It does burn through your stamina pretty quick, though. But it feels a lot safer than uh, two-hand style. Much less damage, though. Like, for a dragon, I think I'd want two-hand all the way. Just so I could, like, very quickly deal with them, you know? Okay, not a here. Just lots of herbal offerings for these skeletons. That's back the way we came in. This goes to Solitude. Okay, so this is like the uh, Halls of the Dead or whatever in Solitude. Does it go anywhere else? Apprentice Lock, get out of here. Secondary area for Halls of the Dead. I guess this was the Catacombs. Halls of the Dead is a separate area. This sounds like it's a populated regular area. I'm not sure why it has that crowd sound, because I haven't seen a single crowd, single person yet, but, you know. Who am I to judge, I suppose? There's an awful lot of cheese in here, I'm very tempted. That goes into Solitude. Well, I guess going to Solitude is not terrible. We can go to Solitude and go down from Solitude and around, I suppose. It's not the worst idea. I don't know if I should stay down there longer and try to figure out what that whole vampire cult thing was, but, I mean, whatever. I guess eventually we'll get a, a quest for it or something. Maybe it's as simple as, like, um, the Dawnbreaker DLC tells you to go down there to, you know, stop some vampire cult or something like that. Could be all it, all it really is. Uh, items, there we go. Let me see if I can sell anything here, if they have uh, a refresh. <laughs> you 
You got any money? Hello, friend. Looking to protect yourself? Oh, you got money. Heal some damage. You certainly have money. I have some crappy stuff here I don't really want. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Uh, didn't mean to pick those up or those. Eh, whatever, just sell it. What else you got, by the way? I should buy some stuff, too. Ebony ingots? Um, no, not really. Okay. I'll just pass on that stuff for now, I guess. That's fine. Keep safe. And there's the alchemist shop and a couple of other shops I can stop by here too and offload some more stuff. The clothier shop, the alchemy shop. Um, Feel free to look maybe around. one more. We have a fine general store. Herb here in Angel. It's good to. See. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, I'll actually buy all of your potions or not your potions, your ingredients. Except for animal fat. I got a million of that back at the base, but everything else, I'll just take it all. All right, now you can buy a whole bunch of crap. Bunch of frenzy potions. Here you go. There you are. Enjoy. Don't forget me next time you need her. Then the general store with the angry merchant. Welcome to Bits and Pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Good afternoon. Oh, she seems okay to me now. Take a look. Probably because I spent so much money here and bought so much, or, you know, sold so much stuff to her. Now she's like, oh, this guy, he's got the money. A few more. There we go. Nope, not that. Good. Come back to Bits and Pieces anytime. She's okay. Maybe it was a different vendor. It was a cl the clothing vendor, I think, that was the real bitch. Over here? Yeah, this is the one. The Radiant Raymond, that's right. Come in and shut the door. Okay. Oh, what delight. Enough. Take a look. Always so angry. It's not good for business. Okay, and what do you have? Anything I want? Soul gem. You have some soul gems. I'll get those. No ebony ingots. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Come again. Finally. Feel free to just, like, trip and shove your sword into her spine, Goldier. It's fine. I wouldn't... I would totally back you up as it being an accident. I'm sure you wouldn't get prosecuted for it. Okay, we're out of here. I've sold what I can sell. So here we just get a horseback ride and go down towards, uh... Ustengrav. No, I did not mean to do that. Cancel. Map, and not local, and Ustengrav. Yeah, it's marked. Okay, so we just go down this way. That's fine. March onward, Frost. It's getting a little bit late, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We're going to be indoors anyway. It'll be dark regardless of whether it's daytime or not outside. Uh, not here. We're going to go over to the farm and go down from there, I think. Or like this is fine, too. Yeah, there's like a crossing over here. I don't specifically have to go over the crossing. I just feel like it's more immersive to do so. Go somewhere where it would be easier for my horse to get across. I guess this is still not great because we're still swimming through it. I mean, whatever, horses can swim. It's fine. Okay. Now, where is it? I can't see it on my compass. This way? This way. Okay. Okay, we're actually here. I uh, ran like the whole way on foot because I just wanted all the alchemy ingredients along the way. Plus it gives my uh, 
My guys, time to get them too. This is the place, yeah? This is the place. This has the horn of Jorgen Wingcaller in it. Yeah, definitely has the horn here. That's gotta be it. Alright, in we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was through here at some point and just didn't go that far into it. Maybe I... So it seems like I loot a lot of that stuff, you know? Reminds me I should cast my own candlelight spell. Well, I clearly didn't clear the whole thing because I hear stuff down there. Hey, void salts. Well, that was a recipe, wasn't it? It was a recipe. Necromancers, eh? Easy loot. I don't know what's what here, though. Anything good? Nah, passing all that. That thing was taken already, though, so maybe I was through here. And I just couldn't do it fully because there was a... Yeah, it must have been like there was a thing it doesn't trigger doesn't let you in until you have the quest going for it makes sense but if I was through this area I didn't do a very good job of clearing it to think that some of my own ancestors might be buried in here. Mystery of Prince Talara, part two, restoration book. Okay. Got to find part one first, though. So how do we get further in? There must be a switch somewhere around here. Maybe that's what stumped me. I couldn't find a switch for this place to get through here. Because there's clearly a door here. I'll look more thoroughly now. Perhaps do I go back this way instead? Oh, I see. We just came around to the back side of it over here. Oh, no, never mind. This goes down, so this is not where I thought it was. I thought it would come around to the back side of that secret door, but no, it's a different secret door. It goes deeper in. Okay, so that's what I missed before. Is the horn here? No. I assume it's going to be a bigger, like, cooler fight than that, right? Wait, was this just like a secret room with nothing else in here? 
if so that's that's a bummer too is there nothing else It sounded like something else opened over here whenever I did that. Like that closed, but something else opened. And yeah, maybe not. Not sure. Now I'm really confused. All right. Might have been just hearing the uh, click of that switch and nothing else. We're bound to find some gold in this room. Okay, I haven't been this way apparently. Did pretty good against that guy. Dawnbreaker did. Okay, this is the right way. Got it. Was just being too hasty before, I guess. Didn't explore properly. No, thank you. Here we go. Deeper in. There we go. That was... I don't know why that was so confusing to me, but it was, and I apparently missed that totally the first time here. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me. I got there eventually. It's okay. Doesn't work, of course. What was that? Foolish Draugr. You're no match. By That's impressive. It is impressive. It's a pretty big freaking cave. Oh. Ow. Don't step on that, guys. Learn from my mistakes and pain. What was that? There you are. Ah. Oops, sorry, buddy. Kind of stepped into it there, you know. At least you're not taking a full two-handed swing for me. Full two-hand power attack. Because you know you all have done that before. Walk straight into it. Boom. Dawnbreaker explode. It is a really cool effect. That's added by the mod. I am pretty sure. Got a throne. We got a bunch of lunch tables here. Where does all this go? Didn't mean to take half of that stuff, but I couldn't... My mouse wasn't working right. Whatever. What's the right way here? I went across over this way before. Uh, this is not right. This is back. No, it, it is this right. Okay, never mind. Thank goodness uh, it tells me. Not bad. 
Yeah, thank goodness it tells me where to go by giving me enemies to fight. Otherwise, I'd be eternally, eternally lost and I would never find my way. So we can go up over there or we can go this way. That's some fire events. Whoa. Is that just a misfire, Ilya? Casually trying to murder me? Another day, another victory. Maybe there was a uh, skeleton over there. My god, this place is huge. Holy crap. I mean, it shouldn't surprise me. It is a main quest dungeon after all, but... Are you like a special boss or anything? Ilya just kind of one-shot you, I think. You kind of got wrecked, bro. Whoa. Oh, it increases it. Well, it's still good. 80 points for 240 seconds. It's still pretty good. Should probably recast my healing, huh? I kind of miss... I've been playing Oblivion a little bit, and I kind of miss the fact that you can cast magic with a one-hander or, like, with anything in your hands, really. You just... Take a second and cast it, basically, and it's fine. You don't have to switch out your weapon all the time. That was a straight-up downgrade from Oblivion. Unless it's a mod that I'm using that allows me to do that, because... It's way better that way, in my opinion. Just let the people cast their spells, damn it. I guess when I cast a spell here and there, you know? Cast a heal here and there. I think we're obviously supposed to go the other way, but I'm kind of curious what's down here. If I jump down there, will I be screwed? I'm gonna save just in case. Oh, there's a corundum vein down here. We can just go down this way. Okay. One hundred percent less to cast alteration. Nice. Yeah, we can totally get down here. Is my mage light gone already? I think it is. Mage light or kindle light? No, not mage light, kindle light. Come back. There we are. That's a dragon sign thing. This was a really easy quest, actually. Clearly, we we're supposed to do this e earlier on. Become ethereal. Like, this is clearly an early on quest, not a high level one. And I could have done it early, but didn't know any better. What do you What do you do? Oh, just restore stamina. Okay, I don't really care that much about that. And secrets behind the waterfall, of course. Bye bye. Of course, we don't have the horn just yet, so maybe there's more to it than that. That's pretty easy so far. I, like, can't see more than five feet in front of my face. It might be intentional, but damn, I, can't, I really can't see very well. I mean, it's fine. We're navigating okay, I guess, but... Except for now, I don't know how to get back up. Okay, I think I got it. There's, like, a giant ramp here, but I just... I, I could not see it for the life of me. It was... It's so dark. Since I went down that kind of alternate path, I didn't see it initially, and... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're back up here. That's where I wanted to go. Why to go back up. Let's 
got to be the horn up here somewhere. I think I'm going the wrong way now, or maybe? No, there's a thing over here, yeah. Wait, wh what? Oh, do I have to use whirlwind sprint here? I go like this. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta wait for it. Okay, here we go. Boom! Got it. You're all gonna get stuck, guys. Sorry. You'll TP to me eventually. You'll be okay. Yeah, you're good. Ow. Ow. It doesn't hurt, but okay. Did you hear something? Spiders! Oh my god! Big spider! Victory for this is great for leveling one hand, though. Excuse me? Paralyzed? Get up! Get up, Wendy! I'm paralyzed! Drink a potion, paralysis. Uh, poison. Not there. Poison. Uh, potion of cure, poison. Yeah. Then resist poison. We good? Yeah, we're good. Didn't do any damage, but I just paralyzed. Where the hell? Where did it put me? Excuse me, all the way, it like shoved me all the way up there. That's weird. I tell you this province losing its grip, and it's become more brazen every day. It's just spiders, bro. Calm down. Okay, need to orient myself. Where the hell is I even going? This way, apparently. Here's the main boss room. I've never seen anything quite like that. I don't know what these do, but I don't trust them. Let's get past them. Here we go. What? Wait, 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 wait. Note from a friend. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you. A friend. Somebody took the corn? Greybeard's hood, Greybeard shoes, Greybeard's robe. Huh. Where can use shouts more often? That's interesting, I suppose. And these are already dead. Someone was already here and took it. Was this in the base game? I don't remember this. At all. What a plot twist, guys. That's a cool plot twist, actually. Like, no in a normal game, it would just be like... In a normal 2024 game, it would just be like, Yep, you go and pick it up. Okay, you got the horn. Great, now go and do your thing. But no, it's a plot twist, like the horn's not here. We gotta go and find out why this person took it. What they did with it. Why they left all this loot here. I have 400,000 septums, why am I hitting E for like 20 septums on the ground? Because it's, it's, it's money, you have to pick it up. That's why. There are rules to RPGs, guys. I don't make them, I just follow them, okay? This is gonna be the secret door exit. Yes. That I saw earlier. Okay, there we go, we made it. Alright, well, so we're going to Riverwood. Make our way out of here and go to Riverwood. Everyone following me okay? 
haven't left anyone behind, have I? I mean, there's one running back there, but she'll teleport to me eventually. It'll be fine. Okay, we're out of here. Good. On to Riverwood and the Sleeping Giant Inn to stay overnight so we can talk to the mysterious person who took our stuff. Hey, look at that. Nice, pretty sky. It's the Wildlander color sky. All right. Let's go to Riverwood, I guess. It's a long ass way back. Um, I can just like, well, I should go to Mizenschleft as well. We're right here, right? We got to get that lady's sword for her. And we have a quest over here at Dim Hollow Crypt as well. I guess we go over here next to uh, Mizenschleft. Mizenschleft. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sure I'm saying that right. It was so hard to say. I am mispronouncing other words now. It is getting late, though. We'll be fine, though. It can't... Surely it can't take that long. Also, it's very pretty out right now. I don't mind being out... ...in the nighttime. Why are you guys sneaking? You know, we could just camp here for the night. It's a nice fire here. Someone's already got a nice camp set up for us. Sure. Do I have my leather tent on me? I do. Very nice. Just put my tent alongside this place, and uh, yeah, we'll have a nice place to sleep for the night. A lot of grass there, which I can't get rid of, but it's fine. And uh, there's a campfire here, but it's not a very good campfire, so... Which one is it? It is... Uh, left. Left button here does the fire. I'm gonna build a nice campfire here. Pair it. Need kindling. Just do some. What do I keep hearing? It's kind of funny. Rid of that crappy wooden light bow. And, uh. Oh, I have tinders. Uh, some linen cloth. Sure. sure. There we go. Use fire magic. I haven't looked at the camping stuff for a long time. I might even have some level ups on this I could use, some some perk points I could use for this system. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Good to go. Let me see. Skills? Do I have any skills? No, I don't. Not on this one anyway. Next one? What do I have here? I do have one here. Um, restores more exhaustion. Nah, pass on that. What's this one? 25% uh, faster warming. Eh, it's okay. Stamina increase. Okay, this is not bad. Stamina increase is decent. I have to take this first, though. That's fine. Whatever, it's fine. Rather have the uh, stamina increase. Maybe I could have taken that before. Whatever, it's fine. Next, next skill. Uh, let's see here. Windbreaker. Better coverage. I have two points here. Have to select something down here first, though. What's the what's the, the top one? Once per day, Neon enter a meditative state which prevents your exposure from rising above 67% in any weather condition. Um, I mean, I guess. We can just go into that and stay there for a while. Can swim longer, it no longer drains stamina, sure. That sounds good. And then this one's good too. Yeah, increases the coverage by 25%. Sure. That's fine. 
Okay, that's fine. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get some water here. And we go to bed. Lie down first. Was told to lie down first, that way I properly, you know... I, well, that way I properly get the buffs from my tent before heading to sleep next to it. Okay, eight hours and we are good. It's kind of a weird glitch there where it doesn't work properly for a bit. Pack up. Put out. No, don't use it. Destroy, please. Destroy, thank you. Some water down here we can bathe in. It's not going to be a warm bath, but it'll be a bath, I suppose. Have some worm and chips, and we'll have some soap. There we go, very good. And let's get some water. Should fill my water again, actually. Once again, the water is uh, the left one. There we go, water is filled. With my nasty leftover soapy water. Not really, it's, it's a river. It's already washed away, guys, it's fine. Okay. On to Mission Schleft. But that's going to be next time, guys.